minimal pairs and distinctive features. Minimal pair is a pair of words that vary by only a single sound, usually meaning sounds that many confuse English learners. For example, vowel sound, minimal pair E and E, like in sit and seat, minimal pair A and A, like in wet and wait. Example, example in consonant sounds, minimal pair P and V, like in berry and very, minimal pair P and P, like in by and pi. Distinctive features. Distinctive features is when the feature distinguishes one phoneme from another. When two words are alike phonetically except for one feature, the phonetic difference is distinctive since this difference alone accounts for the contrast or difference in meaning. A positive value denotes the presence of a feature, while a negative value indicates its absence. The use of distinctive features To specify a phoneme, to specify a class of phoneme, to describe the set of speech sound used in a particular language or dialect, to write concise rules of phonetic change, and to characterize a speech disorder. Part of distinctive features. First is place features. Place feature is the feature that specify the place of articulation. The first part of place feature is labials. The class of labial consonants include the class of labial sounds like p, b, m, as well as labiodentals like f and uv. Labial sounds are those articulated with the involvement of the lips. Coronals. Coronals include the alveolars. It is when we produce a t, d, n, s, z. The palatals like sh, sh. The every case j, d, and liquids l. These are sounds articulated by raising the tongue blade. Dorsal sounds are articulated by raising the dorsum of the tongue. All vowels are dorsal sounds. Dorsal consonants include palatal, velar, and uvular consonants. The last is glottal. The sound is from the flow air through the open glottis. Manner feature. Manner feature is the feature that specify the manner of articulation. The manner features are continuant. This feature describes the passage of air through the vocal tract. The plus continuant segments are produced without any significant obstruction in the tract. And so the air passes through in a continuous stream. The minus continuant segments, on the other hand, have such an obstruction, and so occlude the air flows at some point of articulation. Next is the nasals. This feature describes the position of the vellum. The plus nasal segments are produced by lowering the vellum so that air can pass through the nasal tract. The minus nasal segments conversely are produced with a raised volume, blocking the passages of air to the nasal tract and shunting it to the oral tract. Next is lateral. This feature designates the shape and positioning of the tongue with respect to the oral tract. Plus lateral 
segments are produced as the center of the song rises to contact the roof of the mouth, thereby blocking air from flowing centrally through the oral tract and instead forcing more lateral flow along the lower sides of the song. Next is delayed release. This feature distinguishes stops from every case. Every case are designated plus del rel. Major class. Major class feature is the feature that represent the major classes of sounds. Syllabic. Um, the plus syllabic is sounds that function as the syllable nucleus like vowels, syllabic liquid, nasals, and the minus syllabic is sounds that do not function as a syllable nucleus like all the other consonants. Consonantal plus consonantals is sounds produced with a high degree of oral obstructions like consonants, that is stops, fricatives, affricates, nasals, liquids. Consonantal sounds produced with less oral obstructions like vowels and glides. Sonorant plus sonorant is sounds that show an open vocal tract configuration like vowels, glides, liquids, and nasals. Minus sonorant is sounds that show a more closed vocal tract configuration like stops, fricatives, and affricates. What is vowel features? Vowel features describe the height of the tongue in the oral cavity. It's high, mid, or low. The part of the tongue far front, central, or back. The degree of tension in the tongue and lips, tense or lax, which is sometimes correlated with the position of the root of the tongue. Advanced tongue root or ATR and retracted tongue root RTR and the position of the lips plus minus round. The high is meaning the tongue is raised towards the hard or soft palate. The low, the tongue is lowered away from the hard or soft palate. The front means the blade of the tongue. Back is the body of the tongue or dorsum. For example is the uh. It is plus low, plus back, lax, and minus round. While the U is plus high, plus back, tense, and plus round. Here are the tables of distinctive features of American English consonants and distinctive features of American English vowels. P is an interior and labial in Table 1. F is an interior labial, continuant, and strident in the table 1. E is low in the table 2. Thank you for watching! Don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to comment down below if there is a comment section.